Alright guys, um, so today I'm going to show you guys my HP um, laptop, it's uh, aka um, the MacBook made by HP. Uh, the reason why I said that is because I installed Mac OS X laptop successfully on my laptop and uh, everything works except the working. So um, now I'm just going to boot on my um, laptop and uh, show you guys how it works and you can see I got everything connected um that's from the right side. I got the power cable connected. I got this um USB cable connected to my pass adder and uh I also have the audio cable connected because I want to have better sound quality connect with my Logitech C twenty three hundred and uh I also on the right uh left side here you can see I have another USB extension because I'm running out of USB port so I have another three USB connected this is my iPod you can see it connected all the way here and this is my another USB drive uh, it's a 30 gig USB drive that I have all my data is in it and uh, the last one is the um, the USB keyboard um, the side head keyboard I also got it connected and both my uh, uh, mouse, that's adder, and size of keyboard are recognized by um, Leopard. So it's very, very nice. Now, the most important thing is I also got this cable. You can see this little thing here. This is the RT25000 chipset, uh, wireless internet. And uh, um, I was able to use the wireless. Now, um, use this. And I download the driver for Leopard, and it's pretty easy to do so because the Intel uh, 3945 driver still is under develop so it's not working yet for me uh, and as you can see I also got the VGA cable connected to my um, BenQ 21 inch monitor that I just got yesterday now um, I usually use this camera to record everything but uh, last night it failed it just broken down and uh, now I'm using my um, just regular cameras recorded so the quality sucks. I'm sorry about that. Anyway now I'm just gonna boot up my um laptop. It's HP and uh now um you can see there's uh, I can boot into this uh, sorry this XP my uh Hacking type system, and this is another two hard drive I have in my uh, Windows system. Let's boot it to um, Lapper. This is not Snow Lapper, this is just Lapper because uh, um, a lot of the other applications that I use is not very stable with um, the new Snow Lapper, so I'm just going to stick with Lapper for a while. Yeah, it it boots up around 30, 30 seconds, and uh, you can tell from the timeline. Um, yeah, it boots up. You can see this is the main screen we're using, uh, and that's the external screen. So looks pretty nice. You can see the wireless utility. It detects my uh, network, and uh, it just takes some time to connect it. Um, yeah, you can see it's connected. Uh, you can see the you can really see it, but it's like the screen. Click right here, so it's connected. Now it's just going on the internet using Firefox, and uh, you can see there's Google right now. Um, it's um, I did a video like last night and um, shows up how it opens up all the application and multitask. But uh, you know my camera right here is stuck, so the video, the disc is still inside. I can't really even open it because it's just can't even open up. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, my camera's out of battery as well, so see you guys soon. Peace. Um, show you guys the gadget. You want the gadget? Um, and you know, just everything works and uh
you can see the space. Uh, yes, yeah, so something like this. You can see all my um, application. I install a lot of application, tons of application. iMovie, I mm, GarageBand, whatever. A lot of stuff. Um, I haven't used Time Machine in the only out of the disk as well. I only have like 1.02 gig um, left, so I didn't do much of update lately. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, again, apologize for the quality of this video. It's really not clear, but that's the best I can do. Alright, see you guys soon. Peace.